Hello friends and colleagues, I am Stanislav Chernonok, the author of the online school of vector massage and somatics, and today we are talking about such a problem as intestinal prolapse. In fact, a huge number of people have this difficulty. About 40-60% of middle-aged people experience some amount of intestinal prolapse. This is a very serious problem. The fact is that the lowered intestine lays down on the lower parts of the large intestine, on the rectum, it lays down on the genitals, in men on the prostate, in women on the uterus and ovaries, on the tubes, and accordingly physically squeezes them, thus disrupting blood circulation and disrupting the outflow of the fluid. In addition, the prolapse of the intestines pinches the nerves that control our legs. In addition, the venous outflow from the lower extremities is disturbed, provoking varicose veins. In addition, the fluid cannot circulate normally and it leads to the increased likelihood of cellulite in women. In addition, the obturator foramen is blocked, causing you to be unable to control your legs normally. The problem is pretty serious. An important detail of intestinal prolapse is that this disease is completely asymptomatic. That is, you can see secondary signs but as a rule, you simply note that your well-being is consistently worsening from year to year and you do not know what it is connected with. In this case, very often this is due to the fact that the intestines are lowered and it disrupts the circulation of the fluid in your abdominal cavity. Why is it going down? The most common cause of intestinal prolapse is the abnormal diaphragm tone. As a rule, the diaphragm, in most people, is in an excessively stressed state. The diaphragm shifts the intestines downward when inhaling and must lift it upward when exhaling, carrying out a draining effect. Unfortunately, however, it is very common that the structures which control the diaphragm are pinched. Very often we have psycho-emotional difficulties and keep the diaphragm excessively tense, and this leads to the fact that the diaphragm constantly pushes the intestines down and it leads to the pinching of the lower part of our abdominal cavity. How can we observe intestinal prolapse in our patients? Or how can we notice intestinal prolapse in ourselves or our loved ones if we aren't professionals? Firstly, if you see the bulging tummy in the lower abdomen, then this almost certainly means that the intestines are lowered and accordingly the body is trying to free at least some space in the lower parts and relax the lower abdominal muscles so that the intestines move forward. In addition, swelling in the groin folds is a sure sign that the intestines are likely to be lowered. If you have varicose veins, if you have swelling in the lower extremities, then this is also a sure sign that the intestines are almost certainly lowered. In addition, the shape of the navel is a significant indicator of an abnormal condition of the intestines. If the navel is pointing up, then this is a sure sign that the intestines are down. For professionals, I can demonstrate how we can test the condition of the intestinal prolapse using a kinesiology test. We will be testing the condition of the intestines using the piriformis muscle. The fact is that the piriformis muscle is innervated by nerves that extend from the interior surface of the sacrum. Accordingly, at the moment when the intestines descend, these nerves are pinched and the piriformis muscle ceases to work efficiently. Let's look at this from the literal experience of our patient. There is a standard kinesiology test for the piriformis muscle. No matter how hard the model tries, she cannot keep her leg in this position. Now we make one simple small movement, pushing the intestines up with our hands. And we find that the leg stands rooted to this spot. This is an absolute dramatic change as a result of one simple manipulation. Of course, the intestines were displaced for only a second, they are used to being in a displaced downward position. So our manipulations will not lead to a long-term effect. Release the leg, please. A good way to lift your intestines is to exhale deeply and fully while pulling in your abdomen. Exhale and suck in the stomach. Relax. 
As a result of this manipulation, we will get the strengthening of the piriformis muscle. So we are talking about the fact that the intestines have been shifted upward. Relax, please. All exercises aimed at improving the work of the diaphragm. All exercises associated with pulling in the abdomen are extremely useful for lifting your intestines and moreover, relieving it in terms of lymph circulation. Remember that in a very large number of cases, working directly with the diaphragm is not enough. It is important to work on the costal arches. In a number of cases, problems with intestinal prolapse are associated with the fact that the intestines have been lowered and the intestinal prolapse caused inflammation. And as a result, adhesions have formed between the intestines, intestinal muscles and bones. Thus, in order to qualitatively work on the intestinal prolapse, we need to work on the lower parts of the intestines, shifting them up and in. We place our palm on the lower edge of the intestines and begin to perform slow, smooth, very gentle upward and inward shifting movements. Remember that the intestines are a very dangerous place to work for an unqualified specialist. We avoid any acute painful sensations we avoid any sudden movements. We are in contact with our patient. If the patient is telling us that our manipulations are painful or discomforting, if the patient is feeling a deterioration in well-being, we immediately stop our manipulations. The normal situation as you work to move the intestines upward is the situation of acute stabbing pain. Your task is to find these places of acute stabbing pain this sensation will be associated with the rupture of adhesions appeared due to the inflammation. This sensation should not be intense, but it should be distinctly piercing and acute. Adjust the impact so that this sensation is distinct but not very painful. This work needs to be done on a regular basis. In addition, it is very good if you accompany this work with the abdominal retraction. This work can be carried out both on your patients and yourself. For example, our model can put her hand on the groin folds and slowly pull it up and in, while simultaneously performing a full exhalation and retraction of the abdomen as she exhales. I also recommend that you remember that the condition of the intestines is very strongly associated with the condition of the deep frontal line. This is diaphragm, this is transverse abdominal muscle, this is the pelvic floor. The deep frontal line is one of the most important from the point of view of human health. So having a prolapse of the intestines, we will almost certainly have difficulty with the arch of the foot, flat feet. In addition, we may have problems with our jaw, excessive tension in the jaw and headaches associated with the jaw. Thus the prolapse of the intestines causes deterioration of health of our whole organism. This is the arches of feet. This is the inner surface of the thigh, along with varicose veins, and the pelvic floor, and breathing, and the psycho-emotional state, and the jaw. Professional requires you to engage and understand the structure of entire deep frontal line. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you found it useful and interesting, press the like button. YouTube will promote this video and more people will know about the existence of this problem. And as always, Stanislav Chernonog was with you, the author and creator of the online school of vector massage and somatics and the YouTube channel of the same name. The channel where we teach you to be healthy, do massage and make good money on it. See you again, friends. Goodbye.